70 years after the first nuclear bomb used in warfare was detonated over the Japanese city of Hiroshima, the plane that dropped the bomb remains a symbolic attraction at the Smithsonian Institution's National Air and Space Museum in the US state of Virginia. Paul Tibbetts, the pilot who flew the Boeing B-29 Superfortress, painted in block black letters his mother's name, Enola Gay, on the left side of the nose of the plane, giving the historic bomber its name. The Enola Gay's mission was the first of its kind and is widely believed to have brought an end to World War II in the Pacific. The death toll from the blast on the 6th of August 1945, by the end of the year, was estimated at about 140,000, out of a total 350,000 who lived there at the time. Three days after the Hiroshima bombing, the United States dropped an atomic bomb nicknamed Fat Man on Nagasaki. The Enola Gay was one of 30 out of some 6,000 Boeing B-29 planes produced that were modified in order to be able to carry such a heavy bomb. It needs to be made as light as possible. And so all the defensive armament, all the armor, uh, some of the spar of the wing is actually removed so they can fit the bomb in the forward bomb bay. It has special propellers that act as brakes upon landing, so if they have to land with a bomb, they, they can do that. And so these airplanes are picked off the production line at the Martin factory in Omaha, Nebraska, and they're modified, and then they're delivered to the 509th Composite Group. So there's a lot of work involved in making an atomic bomber to actually carry those two, the little boy and the fat man, atomic bombs. It took some 300,000 man-hours to restore the Enola Gay when it went on display at the museum in its current condition in 2003.